Here I have Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and let me show you how to flash that, that device, so let me show you how to update this phone, how to load the newest firmware to your Xiaomi. So at the very beginning you have to download and install a couple of things, the Mi Setup 2.2 and ADB Setup. As you can see you can download these things from the following website download.hardyset.info and by using the Xiaomi folder. The link will be in our tutorial as well so you can use them. As you can see I've got everything downloaded right here, the ADP setup and me setup. Let me just run for example the me setup. Let me install it again just to be sure. Install success, I can turn it on right now and just to make sure let me open the ADB and let me install it again. So let me tap Y a couple of times. Tap next a few times and finish and all done. So that's it, I've got everything installed. And now I can go and download the appropriate firmware. So let's open the following website, newui.com slash download. Let's choose your device. So in my case is Xiaomi Note 4, the following one, Redmi Note 4 right here. And now let's make sure what kind of chipset are you using and what, kind, what type of the new UI is in your phone. So, at the very beginning, let's open the following website, email.info, and you have to choose your email. So, let's open the email mode, let's use phone icon, and the following secret code, star hash 06 hash. As you can see, the following information just pops up. Let's paste one of the following email into this bracket, choose captcha protection, let me select storefronts, and choose check. That's it. Now you can check the chipset of your device. As you can see, I'm using Qualcomm. Let's make sure what kind, what type of new UI are you using in your device. So let's open the settings, scroll down, choose about phone, and here you can find your new version. Right now you are, you are using a global one. So now I know what type of ROM I need to download, so Redmi Note 4, Qualcomm Global right here. Let's choose of course the stable, stable ROM, let's choose download full ROM. I've got already downloaded, so now all you have to do is find your, your firmware, this is my firmware, then you need to turn on the internet on your device, so the Wi-Fi connection. Let's use some micro USB cable and connect your device to your PC. Let me do it. Excellent, my device is connected. And if you have every drivers properly installed, the following autoplay should pop up or you can find it in computer and tap the storage of Redmi Note 4. And here you have to paste your firmware, so let me do it. Let's find my firmware again and let me copy this firmware to the following folder. So let me copy the firmware. You don't need to unzip this folder. Just copy the following firmware and paste it into Redmi Note 4. Let me tap yes right here. device stop responding so let me connect my phone one more time let me tap the USB and let me select transfer files right here excellent and let me paste it again so let me open the Redmi Note 4 from my computer, Redmi Note 4, internal storage, 
and now let me paste it so let me paste my firmware as you can see my computer is copying files from the PC to the internal storage of my Redmi Note so as you may see it's important to change the transfer file mode on your USB so make sure that it works on your device Excellent. So now you can start updating your device. Let's open the settings, scroll down, choose about phone, select system update right here. Let's choose more key in the following three dots in that corner. And let's select choose update package. Scroll down and here you should find the following firmware right here, the zip file. Let's tap it and choose OK. As you can see now the new UI is trying to update so let's just wait until the whole operation will be finished do not interrupt while the process is running as you can see the encryption is in process Let's tap reboot and update right here. The device is restarting and rebooting, let's wait a couple of seconds. Excellent, as you can see the update is completed, now you can use your Xiaomi, just wait a few seconds and the home screen is available, so everything went well, thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.